We've gathered this evening to mark the centenary of the birth of a great English author, Robert Aikman. He wrote only 48, what he called strange stories. And yet he is arguably the greatest supernatural author of the 20th century. So we're uh, trying in a way to spread the good word that people should know more about this extraordinary writer who may well be the best writer they've never heard of. And I have no doubt that thanks to the presence of Rhys Shearsmith and Jeremy Dyson, uh, we brought admirers of theirs who possibly didn't know Aitken's work previously. Mr. Mabry, cried Faulkner, I have to remind you of two things. The first is that I have invited you to be our guest in the fuller sense of the word. <laughs> the second is that although you attach so much importance to efficiency, you nonetheless appear to have set out on a long journey at night with very little <laughs> petrol. <laughs> Possibly you should think yourself fortunate that you are not spending the night stranded on some motorway. I'm sorry, said Mr. Mayberry, but I simply must telephone my wife. She'll be out of her mind with worry. I shouldn't think so, Mr. Mayberry, said Falcon, smiling. Concerned, we hope, but not quite out of her mind. <laughs> Robert Aikman was like a secret, uh, a sort of rumour. You couldn't find his books on the shelves. They had to be hunted down in dusty second-hand uh, bookshops. But within the covers was this amazing work, not like anyone else. And in re reissuing him, we, we found how deep and wide is the admiration for him out there. I mean, my God, what a legacy he left behind. A young man tells a girl he's a secret that he simply must confide in her before she marries him. She swears black and blue that no matter what it may be, she will love him as much as ever. And in the end, he discloses that he's a hangman, and she shears off. <laughs> no, I said, I can't recall having come upon that. My future father-in-law is an undertaker, said Mum. Not the hangman, just the undertaker. I shouldn't let that worry you. Indeed, I've always understood it's the most lucrative trade. Never happens in the world that a man's still there. Indeed, as things get worse, it often increases. <laughs> a good chap you are, exclaimed the refilling my glass. In honour of the centenary of Aikman's birth, Faber is issuing new trade editions of four of his finest collections. These include Dark Entries, Cold Hand in Mine from 1975, and includes the prize-winning story pages from a young girl's journey. And then we also have two uh, posthumously published collections, which are, if you like, his greatest hits, The Unsettled Dust and The Wine Dark Sea. Well, we had a wonderful, diverse gathering tonight, uh, and we were blessed to have people who knew Aikman in his life. Gene Richardson, who was his close companion in the last five, six years of his life. And we also had uh, publishers such as Ray Russell of Tartarus, who have loyally kept alive uh, the, the, the Aikman tradition in print, just as Faber hopes to carry on now also. So uh, on the whole, I think we had exactly the right demographic here this evening, and I was certainly glad to see that they all seemed to be enjoying themselves, which is what Aikman would have wanted, I'm sure.